Hello and welcome. Campbell here, autodidactic. How is everyone? Um, can you hear me? Can you see me? All right. Hopefully you can. <laughs> Let me know if you can. Uh, hello, who have we got here? Sven. Good to see you. I'm alive. Yes, I survived. I, I survived the eclipse, guys. I hope you all did too. Clearly, you're all here. Tony, Miss Jane, East Five, Adam Forrest, Microwave. Microwave, just JP, how you doing? Polyester, East Five, Denise Menace, hello, and Loyal Tang Tangle. All right, oh, and Senatieri Amado. Oh my gosh, that's a hard name, but hello to you as well. All right, um, yeah, I just sort of go live and uh, have a bit of a chat with everyone, see how everyone is. Went saw the eclipse, but also I've been on a two week screen ban um internet ban pretty much as part of my reset retreat so i haven't been online for two weeks and my channel got shut down for 10 on, on the first day they they banned they shut my channel down for like 10 days um so that was interesting so i have been on the net a little bit but not heaps um confirm not a zombie yes no hopefully not yet no <laughs> um Ken Cat, greetings from Ireland. Hello, Sainara. How are you going, my lady? Thanks for joining us. All right. How many people here? 40. Um, so like I said, I haven't got anything organized, but if I'm clever, I can show you a few pictures. Yeah, let's, we can have a look. I just went through to get to the eclipse. I... Um, Went to Cleveland, Ohio, which is pretty cool, on the shores of Lake Erie. And, um, yeah, I've got some pictures. We drove through West Virginia. And, yes, we listened to John Denver as we drove through West Virginia. Um, West Virginia, yes, it's mountains, but it wasn't. It's still, because um, they're deciduous trees, they're still dormant. So it wasn't very green, but I went and I listened to John. All right, Shelley Beach, how are you going? New Zealand, Carmen Christensen, yes, I survived as well. Did you survive? Put your hands up if you survived the eclipse. Who knows? Maybe we didn't. Maybe we're all somewhere else already. Who knows? Hippie, how are you going? Thanks for being here as always. Um, yeah, man, Mountain Mama, take me home. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Almost, not quite heaven. Um, not nice state you've got there to everyone in West Virginia. No, it was cool, but we just went through the middle down the down the highway. Um, but I'll show you some pics in a sec of what we saw. Now I'm going to do a video on it. But um, Julie, hello, how are you going? Ginger Grin, Cleveland, yeah, yeah, Cleveland was cool. Like for a big city, we were there, and obviously the eclipse was on. There were heaps of people there for that, and there was a baseball game as well. So there were tons of people. Um, really good vibe, but it, like it was, there was no traffic or anything. It was really, it wasn't at all like an Australian city. Um, it was cool, and yeah, on the lakes, one of the great lakes, Lake Erie, Mount Mama, Candy Cat, um, Anti Mess Three Thousand. Hey, going from Melbourne. Um, oh, would zombies know there were zombies? That's a good question. Love Tangle. Hello. Um, Carmen, yeah, I love John Denver. Hello from South Florida. Okay, what is the dark side of the moon? James Anderson, how are you going? Well, the, there is no dark side of the moon. It's just, it's, it's just the other. <laughs> I don't think that's the moon. Is. I don't know what this, the moon is. It's probably some kind of projection or some kind of plasma-ish thing because you can clearly see stars through, you know, through it at, at times. So it's a good question. Um, I think Pink Floyd tackled that one. Maybe you should ask them. Um, right, are we? Redneck Rebel, hey, how you going? Henry Maldonado, hello. Maldonado, is that right? To Joy, how you going? Lurking and listening. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. Milo, Aaron, hello. Oh, me off. How would the duck? <laughs> I remember how the duck, that was a strange movie, man. Um, hello, Air Waver. 
Spiral Sniper. G'day, g'day. Viru, not of this world. Seeking Truth, thanks all for being here. Red Kenki, <laughs> hello. All right, let me show some of these. I'll show you. We went through Charleston, which is the capital of um, West Virginia. And we also drove through Virginia and then into Ohio, across the Ohio River, into Cleveland. Um, so I went for, I was away for three days. Um, oh, hang on, that didn't work. Sorry, very professional here. Oh, yes, and I should, I guess, tell you all as well that we had some technical difficulties. That's why I didn't go live for the, um, the eclipse. I had all my stuff there. I was going to record, had a camera with me, like a video camera thing, and it, it nothing, nothing, nothing went to plan or worked properly, so it didn't happen, sorry. Um, got any theories of the eclipse? Jim Jones. Um, it's not the moon going in front of the sun. <laughs> um, whatever it is, whatever that body is, is coming from the opposite direction as, the, as, the, you know, as where the moon should be coming from. Um, but it seems to be pretty much the same size we, in when there's like the full eclipse and it's fully, I can't remember the word for it, fully coloured. We um, had a look at it without the glasses and it's pretty cool. You see a big black disc with a fiery ring around it. So that was cool. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, it could be the black sun, could be some other body out there floating around that we don't know about or we're not told about. Um, all right, let me present. I'll just show you where I have been. Uh, do, do, do. Got a few shots here. <clears throat> so this is the Capitol building. This is driving past Charleston or into Charleston in the mountains. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Appalachian Mountains. Uh, I've got some better shots. That Capitol, there you go. Okay, so... That's probably not the best shot either. There you go. That's it. So this is in the middle of the mountains. The population, oh, what was it, 46,000 or something? Um, Sayonara might, might put it in chat. Um, and, yeah, this is the Capitol building, man. It's And it's huge. And it's got these, these wings, these winged buildings. And it's all actually joined up into one building. And then there's, of course, a war memorial there. Um, but, yeah, I've got some footage of it. Like I said, I'll, I'm going to be making a video. This is it. And check out this dome. It's like blue with all these motifs. I'll have to sort of I zoom in. Oh, look at this. Up here. And look at the – it's all painted gold. And these – oh, these are gargoyles-looking things. Look at that. Well, that one is. Oh, I guess they all are. And I don't know, what have we got there? Anyone know that sign? Is that S, S, D or something or S, I don't know. Little cross thing, but pretty cool. Got the Antiquitec on the top, we've got the ball, got the bird or the wings. Um, so it's this amazing huge dome, domed building, like for this, it's a capital, but like I said, it's only, it's small, small little place in like a little mountain valley kind of thing. And oh, look at that! There I am, and this is it. So I'm going to look into it a bit further. I haven't had a chance to yet before we I make a video. <clears throat> oh my gosh, what's what's with that expression, Campbell? Um, and there were tulips around. It was really cool, but I got I did get video, which is. Much better. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this is uh, the one of the back buildings that sort of flanks it or is opposite the state building. And this is, uh, what is it, Mountain Men Are Free, I think that says. And we thought that might be the library, but we could not confirm. Yeah, I know, right? Why does it look like, I don't know, half Greek and half Mary or something? It's very strange. Oh, there you go. More tulips. So there you go. That was some of my little trip um, through West Virginia. All right. 
Um, Sage, how you going? I think I saw Matt in there. Matt Black, how you going? Who else did I miss? Joe a Joe. Barely escaped the e- <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And after the eclipse, you got to watch out for the alpaca lips. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right? Um, the, the, the West Virginia consists of Northwestern countries that did not want to leave the United States. Interesting. Jay Binge, how are you going? Okay. Well, I'm going to have a bit of a look into West Virginia. Apparently, it's almost heaven. Um, da, 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 Melanie. <laughs> I should probably be putting these up, shouldn't I? Um, oh, <laughs> yes. That was a bit of a what the? Oh, Seeking Truth. I was born in 55 at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. We drove through the tip of Virginia, like the long, the long funny bit. Dragonfly from New York. Thanks for joining. Um, <laughs> what lotus is shaped like giving a bird? <laughs> what are you talking about, redneck rebel? Um, yes, we're in West Virginia must be your country. Is that, you? is that where you live? A um, couple of rednecks around there. We went and got some, some subway and that was interesting. <laughs> Got to catch them all. You do. Uh, where are we? Oh, you are West Virginia redneck rebel. All right. Well, we drove through, man. You should have said hello. Oh, oh you mean, ah, oh, but Virginia is shaped like a bird. Now I'm getting you. Now I understand. Okay. Is that right? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't had a look. I've got to get myself a map, though, because um, I've got to colour in all the states I've been to. I think I'm up to 15 or so. Hello, Buster. How are you going? How are Billy? How are you going? Uh, duh, duh, duh. Uh, who else? I saw someone else pop in. Omero Michelangelo. Hi from the end of the world. Which end? CL, does that, does that say CL? Where's that? Cleveland? I was just in Cleveland. <laughs> um, Western South Dakota and the Black Hills. Oh, cool. Um, I'm only here for another, um, what is it, eight days? And then I'm flying out. I am flying out to Venice, Italy. For two weeks in Europe, and then we start the the first old world tours. It is going down, so that starts in about three weeks. And um, you know, we're going to do lives and you know show show stuff, take lots of videos. So we'll you will be there with us if you're not going to be there with us. And it is um, ticket sales are closed, so if you did want to go, it's too late. Sorry because um, everything's got to be finalised because there's only three weeks to go now. Jude Jordan, hello, how are you going? Gigantic Crocodile, hello. What are you questioning? Um, Megan Dunning, Far North Queensland, how are you going? Anne McIntyre, sunny morning. What's that, B- Buno? Is that how I say it? Buno? Where's Buno? Um, is the word eclipse the unveil of all that was hidden in the past, Aeon? Um, well, I don't know. Eclipse is when something goes up, goes over something, isn't it? Is, is that the definition of an eclipse? I don't know. It, 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 to me, the eclipse was built up way too much by the media, by the people who, who love to tell us fibs and would wish to control us. So I just think it was an eclipse. I don't think there's anything else coming. Apart from good times, man. Tramping across Europe, right? I'll say, three fingers, how are you going? Uh, daughter station in Aviano, Italy. Oh, my gosh, she went to Afghanistan. Oh, I hope she came out all right. Um, okay, no, my arm is not 
it's it's much it's getting better it's it's not completely healed yet um but yeah i've just done two weeks of a reset retreat <laughs> retreat um and yeah so we're going to do a video i uh, did it with anara and we're going to make a video and just yeah talk about what we did and what results we got so that you know if you'd like to try it yourself you can try it in the in the comfort of your own home um visit Mu murano in venice island full of glass oh okay i have to remember that um dennis denise sorry your ship of abundance hasn't come oh that's no good maybe it'll be tomorrow it's got to be on its way right uh in chile was that the dumbo is that was, was that what it's called <laughs> i wouldn't get that wrong um so i'm going back to find out but i can't it's too many comments so thank you all for being here 177 of you watching i do appreciate you all um yeah it's just a, a sort of short improvised live thought i would say hello after two weeks off social media and yes i went to the eclipse i haven't quite got my t-shirt i'm waiting for it my my i survived the eclipse t-shirt but i did and it was cool lots of people went through cleveland oh that's what i was going to do is i think i've got some photos of cleveland let's see do i uh, da, da, da. let me have a look oh and my computer broke so that's got to go into repairs it like it still works obviously but like the door, like it's a laptop. When I opened it, it just went crack, crack, and all these bits popped out. So, yes. Let's see what happens there. Um, oh, sorry. I'm in the wrong place. Duh, duh, duh. No. That one. Oh, maybe I haven't downloaded them yet. Where am I? Oh. Maybe I haven't. <laughs> Sorry, guys, talking about yourself. Um, okay, so I can't find those photos I was going to show you, but I will be making a video anyone. Cleveland, <clears throat> Cleveland's full of Tartarian building, buildings as well. Oh, Sunflower, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Thanks for being here. Um, Julie Goodman's Central Victoria. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to be back. In Victoria, in, in Australia, for seven weeks now. So I've got well, eight weeks, two months. I've got seven weeks in Europe. Um, so I'm flying in, like I said, to Venice. It's been two weeks, and we're doing the the Old Worlds tour with some amazing people. We'll get lots of footage, and then I'm doing another two weeks hanging out in I don't know Slovenia, Bosnia. We're going to the Bosnian Pyramid, obviously. Um, I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jealous. I'm going there before the tour, um, you know, because I can. And then it, it, we're spending the last uh, three days, I think it is, four days, something like that, at the Bosnian Pyramid, everyone coming on the tour. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, yes, I know, right? Nothing went right that day as far as recording or streaming so it, it didn't happen um sharon saunders how are you going yes all is well metric did your laptop broke as well did it miss jane yeah man it was when was it four days ago? no yeah it was four days ago i think is that right i don't know time is a is a very strange thing isn't it um, yeah, yeah, heaps of old world buildings in Cleveland. Got some good footage, but it must still be on my phone. Uh, but that was, yeah, man, there was, there was really, it was, it was a cool city. Like for a big population, I don't know how centralized it was. It was cool. You know, there was heaps of people out, good vibe, and no, you know, chaos or cars everywhere or any of that stuff. It was good. Now, there you go, Cindy as well. All right, there's a computer thing going on. Yeah, all right. Anyone else having computer problems? No, I haven't been up 
north, well, I guess West Virginia is that the north? That's probably the most north I've ever been. Or is Cleveland north of there? Uh, you know, no, I haven't been up to the north. Sorry, yeah, the northeast. And that's what this is, isn't it? Um, yeah, man. Yeah, well, we got there and blue skies like everywhere <laughs> and um we were i think we just after lunch we walked out and there was just blue sky with these two you know very distinct trails in it and then by the time we got down to well we were, i think we we're on our way down to look at the eclipse it was just a whiteout man they just whited the whole sky but you could still see the eclipse but they they fully yeah whited everything out um we did the chicken dance yes we did the chicken dance in um Mulaney. yes yes we did um keep those spiders away right <laughs> um denise oh thank you very much um my arm's healing but not healed so it's still still a work in progress but but no, it's feeling better after the last few weeks. Been doing lots of meditating on it and other techniques that uh, we'll talk about when we make the reset retreat video. Um, yeah, yeah, they completely what? Yeah, it was, and it just happened so fast. It was crazy. It was like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. It went from complete blue sky to complete white sky. Um. Oh, yes, I did see that Jason was live, had a bit of a look about floods, cyclical floods, wasn't it? Um, Chile is in, yeah, I know where Chile is. <laughs> yes, Chile is in South America. Um, Jay Ritchie, idiots on social media, computer problem. Oh, is that your computer problem? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. You've lost your laptop as well. Why are they holding your laptop? What well, was on your laptop? Oh. Didn't have any pictures of Hunter Biden or anything, did you? <laughs> have you got the evidence they're looking for? Um, I went, I, I have been to Canada, but not really. I flew through there in October last year and landed in, but I didn't get it. I oh, actually... I did. I spent the night somewhere in like a shady hotel. <laughs> but I flew from Brisbane to, um, gosh, she's testing me. I can't even remember. To the West Coast. What's it called? Let me know. <laughs> Where did I fly? Um, just finished Jason's Live. All right. Thanks for being here. 202 of you. Thank you all for being here. Hope you enjoy the show. Thank you for your support. Um, da, 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 da. saw some crazy, <laughs> what, what does that mean, Kevin Doble? I'm not sure, <laughs> what, um, Manitou, oh, Man Manitoulin, during the eclipse, a non-event, oh, that's no good, I have the special glasses, um, I don't have them with me. Had a special like lens for the recording. But that was very hard because I ended up having to use my phone and it was, yeah, footage wasn't that good. Um, oh, another Mulaney type weekend. Well, um, if you watch our last podcast, Kelly. Did a call, did a call out and said, yeah, we will we'll come wherever you want us in August. So if you've got a place that you want Kelly and I to come and do a show, Tartari Australia, um, and it's by, <laughs> by strict rule of Kelly, um, we've got to be able to camp there. We want to like be, like be able to camp Friday night and Saturday night and have an event Saturday. So if you are in Australia and you would like us to come out in August and you've got a place in mind, send us an email at Tartaria Australia. Just go there, tartariaustralia.com and 
click contact or whatever it is. <laughs> so I don't know that email. Um, thank you, Julie. Yep, loads of chemtrails. Vancouver, yes, thank you, Anthony. I flew into Vancouver and then across to um, in Manitoba. Is that where I don't know if that's up to. I don't know. I've got to learn the, the cities of Canada, don't I? The French, it was French speaking in the middle somewhere. But again, I didn't. Or well, there I did. Yeah, I went and stayed in the city hotel in that one. And I got ripped off on a taxi ride, man. Cost me like 60 bucks on the way in. Like, and then when I went back to the airport, the exact same distance, the next day it was $30. So someone ripped me off, man. Um, John Sup, how are you going? What's up? Looks like you're Sup. Um, thanks for joining. Thanks for being here. Shelly Garman. Fairface, is that me? What do you mean, like fair? Mm. <laughs> yeah, trip through Taitara, you would be extraordinary. Yeah, I'm sure it will, will be. <clears throat> like I said, we're going to take lots of film footage so you'll all get to see, you know, where we go and what happens. And um, we'll be doing a few lives and stuff like that while we're there. How many campers do we expect? We got at Mullaney, we got. Um, I think there was about 70 campers. Um, that was only 120 people. We sort of threaded to that together quick. I, I, I like to get, you know, at least 200 people to a show, but, you know, you'd, you'd need to have spots for at least 100 campers, I would say, if you're thinking of getting us anywhere. Oh, castro, drinking it or rubbing it on? Um, I'm taking lots of supplements. I've been very good with all that the last two weeks. Um, and McIntyre, amazing how fast the greyish white colour comes over in Bunbury. Yeah, that was, it was so quick in Cleveland. It was crazy. Oh, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> yes, you, yes, you did spell it wrong. Well, unless I read it wrong. Maybe I read it wrong. I thought you said the other word that sounds like that. Strange anomalies, like aberrations, like what kind of aberrations have you experienced? Oh, here we go. Air waiver. Kindred Hall, gold donation for camping. Tasmania Live Music will be provided. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, go to tartariaustralia.com and send us an email. Let us know. Because, yeah, we're definitely putting time out around the middle of August for it. So let us know. Oh, really? Well, there you go. We don't need to. They were giving those glasses out everywhere, man, like all through um, Ohio. Where, where did we stay? I can't remember the name. It was where the McKinley Memorial is, though, and i got footage of that, but it's on my phone, so I can't show you anything at the moment. <laughs> Hold one in Uluru. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't think we'd get permission there, but who you knows? Yeah. If there's people in Central Australia that will come. If we can get a couple hundred people, that's the other thing we, we need. We need population. We need people to actually come and hang out with us, man. Um. Um, Law Hatlam, 66. Is this worth looking into? Jared Kushner, ruled by Saturn. Trump ruled by Mercury. Obama ruled by <laughs> his butt. <laughs> Putin ruled by Neptune. These are the soul of deities. What about, are the, are the other planets not deities? Mercury is a deity. Oh, you got Mercury. Mars, is Mars not a... a but yeah, well... Interesting, yeah. Well, maybe match up the, the missing planets, and yeah, man, I'd look into it. I, I won't, but, but you, you should. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Yes, you caught a live. How are you going, Lorraine? Uh, we need to put focus on well restored rice bread mining under the guise of roadworks and disasters by the agency. What did, I'm not sure what that means. Is that what they came out and said? 
How you going, Kevin? Thanks for being here. So I'm going to jump to the bottom. Looks like there's tons of new comments. Um, a lot of high country camp spots will have snow. Yeah, good point. Polyester. Um, yeah, we won't be camping in the snow. We won't be doing that. Canton, that's where I stayed. Canton, Ohio. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. Annie McIntyre. Oh, sorry. Coming in on other people's chats. All right. So like I said, this was just an impromptu live, just basically to say hello. So I've actually got nothing organized, no pictures. I mean, we can, we can have a look at some pictures. Who wants to have a look at some pictures? Say yes if you want me to find some interesting pictures. As I try and find said interesting pictures. What do we want to look at? Um, let's see, some of these folders are full somewhere. Actually, we can have a look at, I don't know what we can do. We can have a look at some random pictures that, I don't know what they are because they were given to me by Jason. I think, I think they might be Martin Leakey's pictures. And actually, so, um, our first Old World tour of the Balkans and uh, the Bosnian Pyramid is now closed. So no more tickets after sale, uh, it's starting in three weeks, but we are doing a second tour. Oh my gosh, I really should have this link sorted, shouldn't I? Um, to Turkey and Greece, we're going to Gobekli Tepe, Cappadocia, we're going to Derinkuyu, the underground city, we're going to Crete and we're going to Santorini and lots of other places in Greece. Actually, if I'm really clever, I can um, show you pictures of that in a minute too, maybe. Oh, that's not right. Um, so, yes, Old World's Tour Program. Yeah, we are going to Turkey and Greece. So I will. I'm not being very good here, am I? <laughs> Where's the screen going? There. All right. There's the link. Um, I'll post it under the video uh, when I get off the live. But so we're doing that in September and October. I think it's around, you know, two and a half, three weeks. And Luke is joining us from Ancient Historia. Paul Cook was going to, but he's had to pull out because he's got, you know, a few commitments he's got to attend to. Uh, but we have someone to replace him, and it is Mr. Martin Leedke. That's right. Flat Earth British is coming um, to Turkey and Greece with Old World Tours. So that is on sale now. You can go check it out, check out the itinerary. Thank you very much, Mariana. Appreciate your support. Thank you. Um, so what I can do, well, can I do that? Let's see. Share screen. Okay. Da -da. Share. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see the Old World's Tours? Hopefully you can. Okay. I need two screens, man. Let's see. Did it change? Yes. Good. Okay. So this is it. Um, oldworldstours.com and then just click on this bit here, um, Turkey, Greece, Mediterranean. Um, we, oh, look at this. We're going to these salt caves and things. Um, this is Greece. Santorini is where all, all the buildings are white and they've got blue roofs. We should, but um, I won't go through it all now, but basically come and have a look, oldworldstours.com. And it tells you exactly the whole itinerary down here and tells you all about it. So go and check it out. Yeah, man, it's going to be awesome. Um, Martin Leakey, now confirmed, and Luke from Ancient Historia will be joining us. So let me check out. I have no idea what these pictures are. I didn't even check. Did anyone want to look at pictures? Did people say yes? Um, 
Du, du, du. Oh, well, I'm going to show some anyway. Why not? Why not? Okay, let's have a look. So I don't know what these are. I think they're from Martin Leakey. Exploring a cave in Peru with the brilliant... Oh, okay, this is Christopher Dunn. This is his straight edge that he takes around to see how flat things are. Peru. A nice hole. Look at this brickwork. Very, looks like an inlay, doesn't it? Like they've fixed it up. Um, but, yeah, what are these, you reckon? And, of course, what are these, right? Geopolymer? That's why there's no crack, right? No join, and there's no mortar in between them either, which is interesting, right? I think that they're, sh they're shaped at the back end. They're different, so they, you know, they sort of interlock. The seemingly flipped over staircase in Sashu, Sash, <laughs> Sakasayuama. <laughs> How do you say that? I know I've heard it, but I, I can't remember. Sak, Sakasayuama, is that right? Something like that? Um, <laughs> upside down stairs and over here you can see this is being broken this was some kind of carved out piece and this right and this so are they flipped over stairs or is it i don't know right like in the king's chamber in the great pyramid in giza uh, the roof is kind of stepped like this on both sides and that's for harmonics so is that maybe half of like a roof who knows because it's not a very big staircase, is it? I don't think it's stairs. You know the problem with staring at stairs? They just stare back. Detail of sculpted andesite surfaces of the Chincana stone. Okay, there's... Yeah, I don't know, what do you reckon? Melted? Could, could be melted or have, you know, from, I don't know, heat or chemicals. Could be, and no doubt there's some meltologists in the chat. Definitely looks like it could be, or has it been carved? Don't know. Put your response in the chat now. Dan, inspecting the tight stone fitting, he is. So that one, that looks, look at that, that's the join there, and oh, you can see that. What's going on there? Is that a letterbox? Ancient letterbox. Engineer Arian, Arian, Andrews inspecting three holes in the uh, Curry Cancha wall. He's obviously measuring the depth there, I think. So these are all cool. Measuring the odd nodes. Yeah, these odd projecting nodes. What do you think they are? If they're poured, if these are like poured geopolymer, what are these for, you reckon? Is it like there was just a hole in the board that was holding it or something? What do you reckon? Let me know. Um, yeah, you see this a lot. Obviously, old world and being built on top. Maybe you can see even this brick here has been, it's not, it's been displaced a bit. So some of this wall must have fallen off at some point. And there you go. That's um, one of those holes right they're basically bore or core holes they look like they've been machined they've actually got little ridges you probably can't see on this and they're normally the same diameter right perfect drilled holes with copper drills powered by baghdad batteries um around a corner again easy to do if you're talking geopolymer pretty hard to Carve. I mean, it could be machined for sure. But then if these are made blocks, like how would you fit them together, especially if the back ends are different widths and sizes than the front? Like it's, it's hard work, right? Oh, three, the three niches stone. That reminds me of Pumapunku. They've got a lot of stuff that looks like that, not with these protrusions, these these. I mean, that's clearly broken. And this, so did, I mean, it might just be the edges broken off it. I don't know. What's that, you reckon? Interesting. All parts of some ancient tech, clearly. 
false door. Well, it's clearly not a false door. It would be again, right? I mean, look at this. Look at the carving in here in this corner. Well, carving, um, you know, edges. Don't, I don't think this was carved. Who knows what it is? Geopolymer, machined. Another old wall, stone arch. Trapezoid doorway. There you go. It's not quite rectangular. Interesting. Here's more of these protrusions that you see. Oh, that one's a bit rude. Jeez. Or is that just a guy? Ah, oh, and his nose is hanging over. Yes, that's much cleaner. Let's go with that. That looks like a face as well, doesn't it? Wearing a helmet. Um, megalithic blocks. Yeah, right. Look at the corners on that, man. Very precision. Um, what does that say? I don't know. Some kind of structure, temple, or clearly been built onto. But this bit here is megalithic. Look at that. It's got a recessed bit. And look how these bricks join in here, all these blocks. Now they do that all the time, and they, they say that they're earthquake proof, most of these structures. And they're pretty strong, right? They're built to last because they're still there. Ah, the Amaru Maru doorway. Have you seen this? It's just this, yeah, perfectly made um, recess door looking thing, but it's in part of this. So the whole front of this cliff has been, I don't know, machined out or something. I doubt they poured the whole lot here. I don't know, but these kind of do look like. You know, they're sort of in sections, don't they? I don't know. Ancient USB charging port, maybe. There it is again. Okay, more of these holes. Now we're at Puma Punku. So these are pretty cool pics, eh? All the H-blocks. And these clearly have been lined up like Puma Punku when they found it, what they weren't like this. They've picked all these things up and lined them up, and it was it looked like a bomb had hit it, is what it did. And it, it, it's got a um, like a dock, let's see if they show us. It's got like a dock built into it, um, you know, suggesting that it used to be on the water and it's up in the mountains. Is, is it up high? I'm pretty sure it's up high. Reconstructed entrance to the Galasaya complex in Tiwanaku. Again, man, look at the precision in that. And it, I mean, it looks like these are solid, you know, steps. Well, it could be, could be blocks, I'm not sure. But I mean, again, right, much easier to pour this stuff, right, if you make moulds. And just pour geopolymer to create this stuff much easier than machining it or you know cutting it out any of that stuff and we you know we don't really find well not that we know right relics of any advanced tools anywhere <laughs> apart from this maybe <clears throat> um suggests as a celestial function so they're saying it's some kind of sky clock basically something that tracks the heavens the stars who knows you know with everything else that you see that's carved out it, it kind of could be anything man some kind of tech that we don't understand again just showing the stuff they you know they're finding man so this wasn't built by copper chisels you know by people who were uneducated and didn't know what was going on on clearly and clear destruction right and again you know they'll probably say these are steps but come on like look at the rocket sign that would have to be way in the ground right so these are at ground level for them to be of any use and there's like three steps there but clearly you can see this is broken this is broken so it was probably one big Piece, that one, but something destructive hit. Interesting, look at this. 
what are they, wires or running wires maybe? And you have whatever in here. Who knows? And these step looking things. I don't know, I thought they might be rocks, but it's a bit of a grainy photo. But lots of tech, right? Same stuff all over the realm. And so this would be, you know, from an age, the age before Tartaria, basically. Well, are we still in that age? Well, not anymore. I guess we just passed out of it. But the red brick Tartarian age, this would be the age before that, I would say. We're looking at different levels of, you know, knowledge, intellect, technology, size. Uh, this is different to the Tartaria stuff, obviously. So-called Inca thrones. Oh, there you go. They're saying they're Thetes thrones. I doubt it. I mean, what if this all, all these funny bits all fit together like a big 3D puzzle and they make a machine because they've just all been, you know, thrown around by cataclysm and archaeologists. Cool. I mean, that looks like housing, doesn't it? Oh, but okay, the doors don't go anywhere. All right, interesting. Yeah, see, I reckon this, maybe I'm right. Maybe it all fits together somehow. It creates a circuit of something. Immaculate corner. Yeah, look at that. Different size blocks, right, and right with the perfect, you know, like there's been a rod or something down there holding that corner in as it sets. Entrance to the new temple. Again, evidence of some kind of cataclysm. Earthquakes, don't know. It's definitely destroyed a bit, but lots of brickwork in here. And this is interesting, this thin, uh, these thin bits. Don't know if they're original. Maybe I'll have to do an old world's tour too, South America. I mean, that's definitely coming up. All right, is that from that book? I don't know. Lost Ancient Technology. And then we're going to some different photos. So I'll stop sharing there. Let's see how everyone is. How did you like that? You saw them all? Yes, good. Look, Lego, yeah, man, like Lego. I agree, Seeking Truth, right? Portals could be, yeah. Oh, Paul Cook. Oh, I can't speak. Paul Cook, how you doing, man? Thanks for being here. How are you? How is everything? Hope it's all going well. Um, you, some more. Oh, okay. Okay, it's the middle of the night, Paul. You can't sleep. Well, thanks for joining us. All right, 189 of you still here. All right, how long have we been going? Oh, it's only 48 minutes. Wow. Streams normally go really fast, but I actually haven't been going that fast. So what do you think, Paul? Did you see those pictures? Geopolymer? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Um, there you go, Paul. Not of this world loves your work. Um. Oh, come on. It's always a hello, everyone, LVK. Hello. Um, well, good. All right. Hope you got into your uh, house. Are you in your house? Hope you got into there. Okay. And everything's going well. The car's running well. The new job's going well. Sorry, you can't make it to the to the first tour, but I mean, the, the second one, <laughs> wasn't that? That's all right. We have time. There will be more tours. Um, Hugh Godan, Godan, hello. Murloc Rothstock, hello. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, please. I would appreciate a like. Oh, you can just play the game where you, you find the, the upward pointing thumb under this video and see if you can make it change color by clicking on it. That's a good game, that one. You only get one click, though. Um, yeah, they were pretty interesting. Yeah, I just, they're just very random. I thought I'd see them. Um, got a few more we can look at. I'm just seeing how interesting they are. Don't know where they are, history ways. Um, I don't have, 
Oh, there's, there's lots of cool pictures. I just don't have any titles of where they are. Oh, gosh. Oh, what's that say? Well, I, I think I've got a Market Street. No. I don't know. They're all... They're all um, destructive anyway. But um, I've been going, what, 50 minutes, and I was only going to do a fairly short um, live. This is basically just to say hello to everyone because I've been off off the YouTubes for a couple of weeks. I've preloaded some videos, so that's what's been going up. You can just put them up to go in the future. So I had some stuff there, but I got banned for like nine or ten days because of the, the latest Tartarian video, Tartaria Australia, which if you haven't seen, go check it out. Um, and I'll mention again for anyone new. Oh, oh, oh that was the wrong button. Um, the first Old World Tours um, ticket sales have closed. It starts in three weeks. So um, awesome to everyone go who's going. We'll see you there. I'll meet you at the airport uh, with Kelly, Kelly Jones, and a few other people who are helping put it on. And we'll all meet up and have an awesome time. And it will be awesome. And we are doing a second one, which is now on sale. Here's the link. Um, go check it out. Turkey and Greece. Go back to Tepe, Cappadocia, Derinkuyu. We're going to Crete, uh, Santorini in Greece, and heaps of other places. So go check it all out. Um, they banned us because we talked about, <laughs> I don't, can I say it again? The um, apparently, supposedly dog and maybe cat people who think they are those things. <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? Don't want to get banned again. Um, it's, it's, you just don't know what you can say or not with YouTube. But, you know, was, we were just having a discussion about those, those people who like to dress up and... <laughs> weirder things right and and the the youth who were doing it and they didn't like it so they they, they took the video down and banned me for about a week they said but it went longer than a week so yeah so yeah that one um linda how you going um da, da, da. <laughs> spell it um anyone yeah who knows yeah yeah so that Basically, we were talking about that. Yes, yes, that. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, be careful, Paul. Don't don't talk about those people. Apparently, it's not allowed anymore. Um, <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Very good. Exotity. They're wild. Well, they think they are. So, I wouldn't say that now, but I, but I don't want to. Because I could get banned, you just don't know, right? I don't know. And, and I just got off. I just got my strike off. Literally, that lasted. They last for ninety days, and mine I've had for over a year, <laughs> like a year and a half. And it just disappeared, and then they gave me another one. So that was good. Um, Chris, how are you going? Thanks for being here from New Zealand. <laughs> Well, no, they're not. Clearly, they state that they're not, right? And we've got to respect that, right? <laughs> and put litter trays in classrooms. Mm. Um, uh, oh, oh, really? Oh, cool. Are there any videos out, out on it? I'll have to have a look. Interesting. Yeah, man, you do, right? When it comes to those people, uh, you know, that live somewhere over the rainbow... <laughs> I know, right? Yes. But, you know, they're, they're funny. <laughs> I saw a video today where there was a whole group of them just barking at someone or some authority or something. <laughs> um, what? Yeah, I've been on oh, Facebook until... This coming January, for like you mean like how many months is that? Eight months, really? Or you have been banned since January? You said till. I'm confused. Anyway, 
which one is it? Oh, Google Moon. Oh, is there, there's a Google Moon? Does it show the dark side? The dark side of the moon. It has a dark side. It's not all it's not all smiley faces. Confused Cobra. Getting angry and taking from <laughs> Yeah, well, truth. I mean, what is truth? Is there any truth? Is there an ultimate truth? I think there's really just perspective, right? Like, you know, your truth is not someone else's. Are there actual ultimate truths? Well, we used to think so. You know, things like gravity, right? <laughs> Which we know isn't gravity, like, and it doesn't work the way they tell us. So, you know, who knows? Everything's up for everything's up for grabs, I think. Um, from Oregon, confused Cobra. Thanks for being here. Um, cause confusion. Oh, we've got a, we've got a confused, a confusing stream in the comments. Kimmy Kale, hello, how you going? Thanks for being here. Canadian Parliament wants an online censorship bill where expressing Christian views. What? Are you serious? I mean, I'll, uh, anything's possible these days, but seriously, that's just, a, that's a wow, man. Wow. <laughs> I know, right? I wonder if they have it with milk. What do you reckon? Um, no, nothing strange during the eclipse. I was there, saw it all, had the glasses. Um, yeah, looked at it without glasses when it was fully covered and you could just see the ring of fire. Didn't go blind, didn't ascend, the world didn't end. Zombie. No, nothing. It was just an eclipse. And I knew it would be because the media is pushing it, man. Come on, we know this. Whatever they push as, as truth or as fear or whatever they push as anything, just ignore them. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, right? I know, we, we should have talked in dog talk or something. Um, the, the countryside star has Lake Superior. I want it. Yeah, is that the one that Dutch showed? I know Dutch, Dutch synth has shown a few. Um, Um, what, yeah, what is it? Oh, what, Pink Floyd, a tr provable truth? Are you going to see us on the dark side of the moon? Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's really much provable truth. Not, you know, I, I mean, what, what is there? And I mean, even at this point, right, anything that you could prove as truth, you know, like the lack of curvature, say, like, People just aren't going to believe it, and is that a truth, or are we going to find you know a bigger truth down the down the, down the road that it's computer code? <laughs> is it a, is it a holodeck? I don't know. Um, talking about the eclipse, really? What did you say about it? Jeez, I thought the eclipse was the big topic at the moment, even though I've been off social media and the internet for most of the time. Um, Aloha from the Plasma Prophet. All right, cool name. Thanks for being here. Totality, that's what it's called. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. Um, we saw Jupiter and Venus, we did, during Totality. Yes, and looked at the, the eclipse for far longer than we were supposed to. Our eyes didn't pop out or burn or explode or do any of that stuff. Um, oh, I didn't, on the, of the sun or during totality of the eclipse, I didn't see anything. I just saw like a perfect ring of fire pretty much. I mean, I didn't want to stare, stare at it, but I looked at it for, you know, 10, 15 seconds a couple of times, I guess. Maybe not that long. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just all that, man. It's just all that. Everything they say. Oh, that shouldn't show that one. I found a lot. Oh, cool. Well, you should make a video and show us all. Have you got a channel? Feel free to drop a link if you do. Um, crowd trying to get Campbell some beer, some good beer. <laughs> what? Oh, no, this is. This is like, um, it's like a fizzy drink or a pop. 
as the Americans call it, but it's it's sugarless and it's not as bad as most of them. <laughs> so it's not beer. I don't, I don't like beer. I don't drink beer. I'm a strange Aussie. Um, yeah, definitely felt something during in the air. Definitely felt different. Went dark, which was cool. It went, went cool, right? The temperature and the light dropped. But yeah, I definitely felt felt something in the air. There was something in the air that night. The stars were bright. Um, oh, what did I miss? What thought I might want to see? What? Hippie. Me... Ah, what a joke. Here we go. Lots of different clips of odd things in the sky around the time of the eclipse. Oh, cool. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Oops. Oh, what am I doing with that? Um, anyone who wants to check that out? Oh, I can't copy it. But anyway, what's it called? Um, oh, yeah, odd things. In, oh, I'll have a look. Thank you. And everyone else who wants to check it out, go and check it out. There's the link. Or we'll just search odd things in the sky. Eclipse 2024. Oh, here we go. UFOs. Um, um, oh, oh, enjoy your, your eight puppy pack walk. Cool, man. Puppies are awesome. Senseless, how are you going? Thanks for joining us. Um, not all people are bad, just like raptors. What's a raptor? A raptor? Raptor? Oh, not, oh, not all cat people. So I didn't miss that bit today. Well, yeah, it I didn't say they were bad. I just said that they're very strange is what they are. But, you know, that it's good viewing, man. Like the show, the show's getting good. <laughs> it's getting crazy. It's, it's turned into a comedy in the last couple of years. It's interesting. It's good. Uh, yeah, no, we didn't see the moon at all. And, um, yeah, whatever covers the sun during a solar eclipse, or at least in this one, came from the opposite direction that the moon was on. So it wasn't the moon. And, I mean, even if it was, we, we've all seen stars and things through the moon, right? It goes transparent. So could it even, cover, you know, block the sun? I don't know. But, no, I didn't see the moon at all. Um, I think, but it was, it was on the left side anyway, and then whatever covers the sun in an eclipse came from the right um da, 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 da. all right da, da, da. definitely yeah man it's a comedy right enjoy it get your popcorn and sit back and enjoy the show guys all right well there you go i might uh bid you all adieu uh i was only going to do a shortish um stream basically just walking all night I right, just wanted to say hello to you all after my two-week absence. Um, I'll be back. I'll, I'll get some proper lives organised and I've got some videos coming up and then I'm flying out to um, Italy, Venice on the 17th for two weeks and then after that we're starting the Old World Tour, Old Worlds Tour, oldworldstours.com. Let me put that back in there. I still got it. Um which is now sold out. The first one's sold out. But if you would like to come to the second one in September, we're going to Turkey and Greece. There's the link in the comments. Go check it out, oldworldstours.com, and see what you think. Come along. We would love to see you there. And do I have anything else to say? I think that's it. Oh, and on that tour, Martin Leakey is coming now and Luke from Ancient Historia. And so it's going to be awesome. So come along and have some fun with us. Party in Turkey, Gobekli Tepe, Cappadocia, Derinkuyu, we're going to Crete, we're going to Greece, Santorini. It's going to be awesome. So come along. And thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for spending some time with me. Um, please give me a like if you haven't already. If you're watching this at a later date, um, leave a comment and thank you to everyone who supported me uh, with super chats i appreciate you all i hope i didn't miss anyone when i was showing pictures or anything i don't know how to how to see that stuff i don't know start no i think i got them all anyway 
that's that's it so thank you if you'd like to support this channel you find links below in the description love you all have an amazing day morning night evening wherever you are and i'll talk to you all on the next upload bye for now Thank you.